Hey, it's Kyle here, and today I'll be reviewing um, John Adams by David McCullough. Uh, as you might guess from the title, it is a non-fiction history book about John Adams, uh, one of America's founding fathers, our second president. Um, for some of y'all that don't know my background, my major actually in college was political science, and my, kind of my expertise actually was political history, so I've always enjoyed reading books that delve into political history. Um, especially early American political history, I always find very, very interesting. And uh, I knew a lot about John Adams, but I've never read a book solely about John Adams, so I was excited to read this book, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, the parts of the book I really found the most interesting delved into John Adams' early life and his early career, especially during the, the Revolution, even leading up to that. Um, he spent most of the American Revolution actually in Europe as a diplomat for... Uh, the, the colonies at that time, uh, primarily in France and the Netherlands, and he played a huge role in the international support that uh, the American Revolution got financially from the Netherlands and financially and militarily from France. So I found that stuff very interesting. It is, um, he had a very unique relationship with Benjamin Franklin, who was also stationed in Europe at the time. Um, that was really, I enjoyed reading a lot, and uh, how Adams interacted with the French was also very entertaining. They had very different personalities and very different viewpoints. Um, John Adams was very much come from the Puritan, Puritan mindset, and then you had the French very, very elaborate and um, lavish lifestyles that didn't really necessarily click, um, but he found a way to make it work. So that was the part of the book I found really, really interesting in. I would say that's almost two-thirds of the book. The part of the book I didn't really enjoy quite as much, mainly because it didn't really go into that much detail, was covering his um, one term as president and his kind of like post-presidential life. Um, and it's mainly because like the first part of the book goes into really great details, and I felt like during his presidency, they really just more touched, the author really touched more on like the um, like high-level stuff. He didn't really get into a whole lot of details about some stuff. Um, as somebody that studied American political history a lot, um, a very key part of the Adams presidency was this very controversial um, law called the Alien and Sedition Acts. And it touches on it, but it doesn't really go into a whole lot of details. And this is one of the most controversial aspects of early American political history that really you could probably write an entire book about. And I didn't really feel like the author really devoted as much time to that topic. And a lot of other parts of the Adams presidency as I felt was warranted and I would, was interested to read more about it. And also as post-presidency, it, it kind of goes very quick. Um, I felt like it needed as much time for his presence in his post-life as it was dedicated kind of like his early life. And I really would have enjoyed the book more if there was more details on that part of Adams' career. Um, the other part of the book I was a little critical of is um, Adams is well known in political, American political history that he feuded with a lot of the other American founding fathers, specifically Thomas Jefferson and uh, Alexander Hamilton. He also did not have the best relationship with George Washington um, and Benjamin Franklin as well. Uh, but Jefferson and Hamilton had very notorious feuds with John Adams. And um, it presents, the author presents the feud and goes in details. My one critique of the author was he constantly just kind of automatically sided with Adams and all the feuds and kind of painted Hamilton and Jefferson in very negative lines in regard to their disagreements with um, Adams. And not saying in all cases was Adams wrong and Hamilton and Jefferson were wrong. I'm not saying that. It just it seemed like they automatically just like, well, Adams had to be right and this is why Hamilton and Jefferson is wrong. I felt like, you know, some of the parts, aspects of the feud were also kind of John Adams' fault. Um, so I think... The author, it would have worked a little bit better if he's a little bit more balanced in that portrayal of it. Um, the one thing I really did enjoy about the book and his portrayal of Adams is Adams um, was very different in regard to most founding fathers, in regard to his view of slavery. He was very anti-slavery, and there was other aspects of his viewpoints that were, I would guess you'd say today, is much more progressive compared to a lot of other founding fathers. I think the author, uh, David McCullough, did an excellent job of highlighting those and showing how much ahead of his time Adams was in that regard. I also really enjoyed the author's portrayal of his relationship with his wife, Abigail. They had a very strong relationship. Abigail was very involved in his John Adams' career, 
Um, she was a very intellectual and smart woman, and their interactions and conversations really ha helped shape Adams's beliefs and viewpoints. So I really enjoyed that aspect of it. Because a lot of times in these political history books, sometimes the personal life is kind of just glossed over and focuses more on the career type stuff. And I really enjoyed um, the parts of the book that delved into Adams' his personal life. Also his relationship with John Quincy, his um, son, who obviously becomes a president in his own. Um, I thought that was a, a very strong part of the book. So overall, I would recommend if you haven't read much about John Adams, I think this is a good book to read to kind of get a good overview of why John Adams is such an important figure in America's early uh, history. Um, and it gives you a good viewpoint of overall of what the founding fathers are up with, especially from the Adams viewpoint. Like I said, I don't necessarily agree with, um, side with Adams and all his feuds with the other founding fathers, but I do in some of them. But if you're interested in political history, I think this is a book you'll really enjoy. So that's my review from John Adams, um, John Adams, sorry, by David McCullough. Um, if you've read any political history books that you've really enjoyed, let me know in the comment section below. I'm always looking for um, some interesting books to read. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you did. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate the support. Um, happy reading, and I'll see you the next time.